Hey everyone, today we're going to be talking about the most important piece of equipment when it comes to pilot and passenger comfort on a small airplane, and that's the headset. A cheap headset can make flying an unenjoyable experience for anyone. I started taking passengers up with me, and I don't want to make them use a cheap rental. I wanted to make something nice, but also not totally break the bank. That's why I'm making a homemade aviation headset adapter so I can use active noise cancelling headphones as an aviation headset for passengers. There are products available on Amazon that do this, but for $300 plus dollars, don't waste your money when you can make it yourself for under $50. Before we begin, a quick disclaimer, these instructions should only be used to make a passenger headset. I don't recommend using this if you are the pilot in command, because there is just too much at stake if it malfunctions during flight. I highly recommend the Bose A20 for any general aviation pilot. Also, please consider supporting my channel by hitting the subscribe button. If this video helps you, don't forget to give it a like as well. With all that out of the way, let's get started. Let's look at the parts of the headset so we understand what we need. We need GA dual plugs, a volume adjustment, headphones, and a microphone. The complete list of materials needed are active noise cancelling headphones, an electric microphone, 3.5mm to 2.5mm audio extension cable, an inline headphone volume control, an XLR microphone cable, dot .206 microphone connector, 3.5 mm to quarter inch adapter, zip ties, electric tape or shrink tube, and Romex wire. I used a soldering iron to make the connections, but depending on the plug you buy, you might not need it. The first and most important thing to look for is the microphone. If you go on eBay and type in Bose A20 microphone replacement, you should come across some listings out of China for only $16. If you can't find that, any electric aviation headset mic will work. I used an XLR cable and connectors to extend the cable from the microphone because the one that came with it wasn't long enough. The green and gray cables are the only ones that need to be connected, the gray plus and the green minus from the microphone. On the other side of the cable, we will attach the .206 connector. The plus wire is connected to the ring and the minus wire is connected to the shield. The tip of the connector is unused. Next we need the headphones and the audio. I'm going to use the Bose QuietComfort 35s because these are what I have lying around. But you can use any active noise cancelling headphones, just make sure you have the right adapter for your specific model. Simply attach the extension cable to the volume control and put on the quarter inch adapter. Now that everything is connected, tape or shrink tube the two wires together so that they won't get tangled up. There you have it, the adapter's finished, and for only $45, compare that to the $300 Amazon product. The last thing to do is to attach the microphone to the headphones. I used a piece of Romex wire, and then pushed the wires through the screw holes of the microphone assembly, then bent them back with pliers. Then I used zip ties to make the final attachment to the headphones. I wanted the microphone to be removable so that I can still use the headphones when I'm not flying. That's it, one aviation headset done. Looks pretty good, right? Total assembly time is an hour or less, and at only $45 for parts. That's it for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.